Hello class, how are you? I hope I find you all well. Today we are going to continue from where we left. And on today's lesson, we are going to talk about sets of numbers. Okay, sets of numbers. All the numbers that we know uh, can be grouped or can be put in sets. Okay, in sets. So number one. We are going to talk about what you call natural numbers. Natural numbers, okay? What are natural numbers? When you are talking about natural numbers, we are just talking about uh, counting of numbers. We are talking about counting of numbers. Which means, in other words, we are defining natural numbers as counting of numbers numbers and you need to be careful when it is counting of numbers you start by writing one then two then three then four okay start by writing one two three and four six seven eight okay so you don't start by writing See, it's not really necessary. Why? Because if you are asking to count the number of people in a class, you can't start by saying zero one. You start by saying one. So, natural numbers. We are just referring to the counting of numbers. Then, set number or two of numbers that we have is a set of what you call even numbers. Okay, what are the even numbers? When you're talking about even numbers, we are referring to the numbers that exactly divisible by 2. That are exactly divisible by 2. That are exactly divisible by 2. And do not leave a remainder. Okay? So the numbers that are exactly divisible by 2, we are referring to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, okay? So these are the numbers that can be divided by 2 without leaving a remainder. That is also 0, 2 into 0. Ano pindaka 0. To get 2 into 2, ano pindaka 2. 2 into 4, ano pindaka... So 2 into 2, ano pindaka 1. Then 2 into 4, and I've been like a 2. 2 into 6, and I've been like a 3. 2 into 8, and I've been like a, like a 4. Then another set of number that we have is a set of odd numbers. Okay? Odd numbers, not odd. It's odd numbers, okay? These are numbers not exactly divisible by 2. These are numbers not exactly divisible by two okay a good two capinda in a remainder okay these are numbers that are not exactly divisible by two and if they are divided by two they will leave a remainder which include one three five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen 17, 19. Uh -huh. Then we move on to another types of numbers or sets of numbers. We have what you call prime numbers. Panapa can be divisible by one in itself. So in other words, you are saying a prime number is just a number with only two factors is a number with only two factors that is one and itself that is one and itself in shona trikuti a number inopindwa ne ma number two chet and ma number two anopinda mayeri ndi one kana one ikapinda into that number Hakuchi sina hii mwecha pinda futi kunze kwe kuti namba iyo yaba kutuitase. Yaba kuzipinda. Anditi. Uh -huh. And you have to know that that number that you are talking about 
must be more than one. Kula tino fanonge ya kadarika one. Ino fanonge ni two factors. That is one and itself. And that number must be more than one. Okay. Then we have, uh, for example, we have the two. This is the smallest prime number. We have three. We have five. We have seven. We have eleven. We have thirteen. We have seventeen. Uh, and so on. Nineteen is also a prime number. Okay, any number with only two factors that is one in itself is called a prime number. Then we move on and talk about rational numbers. Rational numbers we are referring to fractions or the numbers that can be expressed in form of A over B. Numbers that can be expressed as a fraction or in form of A over B. For example, 1 over 2. For example, 3 over 4. So, in other words, I can write this one and this one like this 0, 5 if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, or uh, 0, 0,75. This one is a rational number. This one is a rational number again. And this one is a rational number. And this one is a rational number. Why? Because these two can be expressed in form of A over B or can be expressed as a proper fraction. Okay? Then we move on and talk about irrational numbers. When you're talking about irrational numbers, you're talking about the opposite of rational, okay? These are numbers that cannot be expressed, that cannot be expressed in form of A over B. For example, root 2, SMA number as in the exact square root, they are called irrational numbers, okay? They are called irrational numbers. All the numbers uh, that are not perfect squares, they are called irrational numbers. For example, root 2, uh, root 3, even root 5, even root 6. They are called irrational numbers. And even log 2, they are called irrational numbers. Okay? Numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction. Then you move on and talk about what you call integers. What are the integers? When you are talking about integers, you are referring to the positive and negative whole numbers. In this definition, they just say is whole numbers. So I want you to listen more on what I'm saying, okay? So integers, we are referring to positive and negative whole numbers. Positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. Integers, we are referring to positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. So, at root my integers, we are referring to the numbers uh, that are whole numbers without a comma. But your number is not going positive, can I put in a negative sign? And that means my integers, and also zero is one of the integers. All right. Uh, for example, let me just give example. We have minus 2. We have 2. We have minus 3. We have 3. We have minus 5. We have 5. Watch. What did SIMR integers? Okay. So long as my positive and negative all numbers. Then we move on to talk about natural numbers, I think. This one, Tato, Tauranis, are positive whole numbers. Those under goods are higher. I just counting of what? Of numbers. Positive whole numbers uh -huh. without a zero. So I hope you assisted. This is all I have on um, sets of what? Sets of uh, numbers. If you have any question, just let me know so that I can shed more light, okay? So if you have your friend, don't forget to keep on encouraging him or her so that your friend can be part and parcel of what we are doing in preparation for the next year exams. Okay, so be blessed as you are watching this video.